tokenization, uh, you know, I've said that I think it's going to be a driving force in the next year with things like real estate, commodities, treasuries, bonds, other types of securities being leading use cases. My colleague, Marcus Inkbanger, predicted that tokenized treasuries could reach $5 billion as businesses recognize the value of having digital tokens versus, versus physical assets. And this could unlock liquidity and open up new avenues for investment, asset management, and so on. I'm going to ask you about, well, I guess I'll start by asking you if I'm crazy. <laughs> You're not crazy because real world assets are already a trend. Where I think you are crazy is houses and real estate because there are so many more factors there. Yeah, the regulatory obstacles obviously are, you know, I think there's going to be some place in the world that's going to let that happen. And then of course, if that works out well, but yeah, probably not within a year, right? That's probably anything that requires regulatory movement is not going to happen quickly. What about institutional adoption of real world asset tokenization? Yeah, that I see uh, happening on a quicker scale. There's also the difference of, is it a tangible real world asset like a house or an intangible real world asset like a treasury bond? You know, one is much easier to tokenize than the other and one already has, you know, a culture and a market around it of high volume trading where people want to buy and sell these things all the time. So you kind of, like you don't really have to tell people why they want it, they, they already want it. and you just get a few more benefits from putting it on chain. So you already see protocols like Maker using it, you know, they do stable coins and then you have some more like Goldfinch and uh, Centrifuge. I think they've been doing real world assets for a while, but it's, it's already there to a degree. And you mentioned like government bonds. Those are the first kinds of things I'm seeing uh, get a little more adoption. I think the low hanging fruit, like the closer you are to finance, the lower hanging the fruit is, and the further away from it you are, the harder it is, right? Agreed. Yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. You just heard from David Schwartz talking about his 2024 predictions, how real world asset tokenization on the XRPL is going to be big. And uh, he also talked about the idea of uh, tokenizing real estate on the XRPL. And there's other projects also interested in this. If you recall, back in November, uh, David Short, uh, Sologenic team posted this article saying real estate 3.0 and tokenizing real world assets with Sologenic. So this article is all about uh, tokenizing real estate. And if you didn't know, the Solodex currently already has a real estate category and offers a few tradable assets, with more planned future listings. So Sologenic is planning to, you know, do real estate on the token on the XRPL. So let's read their section on the XRPL real quick. So they say by leveraging the XRP ledger known for its innovations in the realm of digital payments and cross-border transactions. Developers within the ecosystem are taking strides into the world of tokenized real estate with forward-thinking solutions. XRPL's native DEX, low-cost and institutional-grade security address long-standing challenges within the traditional real estate markets where assets lack liquidity and streamlined processes. So like I said, uh, Sologenic takes a prominent role in addressing the challenges within tokenization um, by offering holistic solutions built on the XRPL. So Sologenic plans to integrate and provide solutions in bridging the gap between conventional real estate practices and the evolving domain of tokenized assets, creating future where real estate investments has greater inclusivity and high inefficiency. So they say that it's going to help increase liquidity. It's going to be optimizing costs, lowering the barriers to entry into the real estate markets. So uh, just like David Schwartz says, well, real estate tokenization presents enormous opportunities. It also comes with challenges like regulatory complexities. So uh, Sologenic is aiming to provide innovative solutions for those issues. So you guys can read this whole article, but uh, you know, David Schwartz and Sologenic's thoughts always seem to go hand in hand. They're both tackling the same solutions for the XRP ledger. And we're also going to be talking about Corium and uh, Sologenic uh, more in this video because we've been waiting for some exchange listings and Bob Ross dropped this. It's kind of a hard clue because there are a bunch of um, big exchanges with the word B, but let's read this. So this question is a hot topic every day. Um, he says, Bob Ross, he says exchange listings are now top priority for the business development team who are working diligently on it. Their only focus are tier one and top tier two exchanges, and they have a few confirmed already. And they say he says that they can't reveal the names due to NDAs and uh, listing dates are still under wraps. 
But here's a fun hint to spice your weekend. Two of the exchanges start with a B. And of course, everybody immediately thinks uh, Binance, right? Everybody immediately thinks Binance. But there's a few top exchanges that it could be that are a B. Um, you know, here's a interesting thing because my friend Kappa showed that one of the, so under wraps, like under the Christmas wrapping, a friend uh, Kappa showed me this, that one of the gifts actually, if you look closely, it's kind of like the Binance logo. So are they teasing us here or could there be a Binance listing on the way? Because that is an interesting clue and it would be under the the, uh, the wrapping paper, right? The Binance clue. So hopefully Bob Ross delivers. Remember Sologenic does have the bridge. So first of all, this is the market index. So let's talk about Sologenic real quick. Uh, so uh, there's currently 126 XRPL tokens on the solo Dex. So uh, where you find it is the market index. But my favorite part about the market index is actually you see how much solo is being burnt. So we're close to 1 million solo tokens burnt, which is pretty exciting. But this is the market index for solo. Uh, so they posted about that today. Um, but yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment below. Could it be too good to be true? Could it be Binance? Or is it going to be like Bitfinex? Or is it going to be, there's a couple other B exchanges. So leave your comments in below what exchange you think it's going to be. If we get a Binance listing for Christmas, this holiday season, that would be incredible. Last but not least, another DEX. Uh, we made a video on this before, uh, the, the Welp team. But this is what really is cool here. So all these DeFi protocols will open the world of possibilities, not just for Corium, but also for other chains like XRPL by allowing assets like XRP and Solo to migrate to the Corium uh, blockchain tap it into full DeFi potential that Quorum offers like smart tokens. So um, basically what that means is uh, we'll be able to use this bridge. So this is what also is important to remember is that the bridge, why it could possibly be Binance because Solo integrated the BNB chain a long time ago. There's a bridge to Binance here. So there's a bridge to Quorum. Assuming we'll be able to bridge our XRP and solo into Corium and do liquidity pools and do uh, lending and borrowing with different apps and with the Cosmos smart contracts and be interoperable with uh, the rest of the uh, IBC ecosystem. IBC currently has 107 blockchains connected to it. So once you're able to bridge solo to IBC ecosystem, you're gonna have Solo be available on 107 different uh, blockchains and it'll make it more and more scarce. So it's gonna bring great utility to these XRPL assets because just like David Schwartz's prediction of 2024 is saying that uh, interoperability is going to really kick off in 2024 and um, these blockchains that are currently siloed are soon gonna be able to all interoperate each other because of IBC internet blockchain communication protocol. So um, it's going to be really incredible to see this all come together. And um, yeah, everybody remember uh, to subscribe to my video. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and within a couple of weeks, there's going to be the two-way bridge. So you could go from, from XRP back and forth, which so you'll be able to go Corium from XRPL to uh, Corium mainnet back and forth which isn't unlocked yet so like true interoperability is coming and um solo is going to be freed like that one movie free solo so everybody have an awesome day and peace